Hey guys, Anyajong. Welcome to Sweet Little Home. I'm Evie, and for today, I am taking you guys along with me to go thrift store shopping, but not at any regular thrift store. This is going to be at the Google Outlet where you have to dig through piles and piles of junk to find those special one of a kind pieces or just amazing pieces. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard of the Goa Outlet, but I love it here because everything is so, so much cheaper and more affordable since you're paying by the weight instead of buying individual marked prices. There are some pieces that are individually marked prices those are usually bigger furniture pieces or really heavy pieces anyways I did find a lot of amazing pieces a full cart full actually more than a cart full of items for only $25 so definitely keep watching till the very end because I'll do a giant haul and share with you guys what I purchased from this amazing store but first let me go ahead and share with you guys how my store looks like just how the store looks like overall so you know what to expect if you do want to go visit a outlet store um, it is really fun really dirty but you definitely can find a lot of cool pieces for so so cheap so i highly recommend you guys to visit a google outlet if you do have one near you you said son you remember this day for the rest of your life i think he's right Mom said, now you've got something new to write about tonight. I think she's right. Spotted this vintage old school rocking chair. I thought it was really cool and neat to see. However, my husband was definitely afraid of it. It creeped him out so bad. So when I was filming this, he was like, come on, can you stop it now? It's super creepy. But I just wanted to share with you guys that you can find really cool vintage pieces like this one. Everything is gonna be okay. Welcome to the good life, but don't forget Don't ever get complacent Remember what got you here and keep at it On the sky is the limit Cause you paid your dues and waited your turn And the rest of your life We found a yearbook from my husband's school. We were hoping that it was his year, but it wasn't. Oh my gosh, you guys. Found a Burberry bag. I've never seen one or touched one in person before. Don't even know if this is authentic or if it's fake. Usually there's a lot of fakes here at the outlet. Um, but I thought it was just really cool to see one. Let me know if you guys can tell if this is a authentic or if it's a fake. Just curious to see. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Summer came with your smile. So here's the section of the individually marked pieces. As you guys can see, these are so, so cheap. A dollar for a chair. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how much this nightstand costs, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was only a few bucks. Usually whenever I come into the store, I never see anything more than $10 marked in here. Maybe mattresses are a little bit more like $20, $25, but everything else is like a few bucks only, which I think is such a great steal and find for bigger piece items. Steps on the sand of gold wind bring us closer So I wasn't kidding you guys when I said I got more than a cart full of items from this store. I'm so, so excited. So let's just go ahead and get started with this haul. 
So the first item that I purchased is one of the individually marked items and this is a giant storage bin for only one dollar you guys yes one dollar i love getting these at the thrift store because they're just so cheap and affordable i think this will probably be like 10 or so dollars at a regular store so for only a dollar i couldn't pass on it and this is going to be great for my spring and summer decors The next item that I purchased is this uh, giant bamboo basket storage bin. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this or resell it. I want to try to start reselling items, but I'm kind of scared still. So we'll see how it goes. If I do list it, I think I'm going to do about 10 to $15 which isn't too high, I think. Is that is that a lot, you guys? Is that a lot for this basket? Um, I don't think that it is, um, but we'll see how it goes. So I forgot to mention that I paid $2 for this basket, and then the rest of the other items are all weighted items, and I paid $20 for the rest of those. So I don't know how much they cost individually, but they were all for $20. So my next two items are these two miniature ladders that are super tall. I wish they were like regular size ladders. I've been so much better. Uh, but I don't know what I want to do with these ladders. So you guys, let me know what you guys would do with it. Because um, I have no idea. All I know is that I liked it and I wanted to take it home with me. And that's how far I got to it. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. So the next item is this really nice and super cute basket. I don't have one that looks like this, so I was super ecstatic when I found one. It does have a little damage to this little corner, but it's not too bad. I think I can fix it. If not, I'll just cover it up. Uh, but anyways, I am a basket hoarder if you guys didn't know that about me. So I tend to grab a ton of baskets. Even if I don't have space for it, I'll find space for it in my home. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that this was a really cute find and had to add it to my basket collection. These next items are some super cute and adorable tin cans that I found, especially these two with the little knobs on top. I think they're just so cute. Um, I do plan to make them over just to make them more of my style, my aesthetic, because right now they are not anything close to my style, but I just love the look and the shape of them. So that's why I grabbed them. Uh, so definitely look forward to that video of making these over. Um, it will be actually part of a collab coming soon. So for my next items, two of them are identical crates and then one of them is a magazine file holder. For my crates, I plan to use them to create a tiered tower with because I have a collab in September where we have to create these tiered tower. So that's the idea for it. So I need to find a few more pieces to add on to that. And then for my magazine file holder, I really like the look of it. It's just very boho with the rattan and I want to add more of this into my office space. So that's the reason why I grabbed it. So these next few pieces are three MDF wreath forms and three embroidery hoops. I love to get these from the outlets because they practically weigh like nothing. So you're going to pay just a few cents for these, which I think is such a great steal. For the embroidery hoops, I do have a very cool idea I want to do with it. So this is the time for you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos, especially if you do enjoy watching it DIYs um, thrifting hauls and anything home related I do a ton of those on my channel so definitely subscribe if you haven't done so you won't regret it my next three items are my favorite finds out of this entire haul and this first one is this really cute and adorable tea light candle holder I love the shape of it however I do plan to repaint it so that it looks a little bit more modern this next one is a really nice rolling pin I've been trying to find these for the longest time and this is the first time that I finally found one so I'm super ecstatic and happy about it now I just need to find a few more of these to make a set out of it this next one is a beautiful dough bowl and oh my gosh you guys this has been on my bucket list for the longest time and i cannot believe i actually found one well 
I don't know if this is an original double, but it looks pretty darn close to one and I did not have to pay an arm and leg for one, so I'm super ecstatic about that. I actually plan to change this up into something else, which you guys will get to see here shortly in a couple of days in my upcoming Boho collab with a bunch of amazing other creators. So definitely look out for that video. So moving on to my last set of items are these two beautiful picture frames and two really nice signs. I love the beautiful detailing on these picture frames. They're just so pretty, so nice, and just look so intricate. Um, these will actually be going to a family member's home because I'm in the middle of making over their living room for them. So I'm super excited about that. And of course, I'll be filming the entire process for you guys to show you guys the before and after i don't know exactly when this video will be coming out because i'm still in the early stage of making over their living room but it is in the works and i'm super excited for you guys to see it um so yes this is why i picked up these pieces to create a beautiful galley wall for them in their living space So guys, this wraps up my video. I hope you guys did enjoy going to the Goa outlet with me and seeing what I purchased. Let me know what did you guys like from my haul and what you guys would do with these items as well because I do need help. Some of these pieces, I have no clue what I want to do with them yet. Sometimes I do that, just grab things because they're pretty and I'm like, I will figure out something to do with them. Anyways, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining joining me. Have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next one.